hi everyone in this video I will show you how to create a session main project and execute it using a client so first I will create what we need is actually one project that will have that EJB uh, modules and another project will be our client that will access those EJB module functions what we have written in that particular uh, EJB module so as I've to, uh, told you that we will be doing over here the session bean so we will create a project which will have session beans on it so first we have a good file then new then EJB project now you have to give uh, the project name so I will be giving over here like EJB11 Okay. and then I will click on next here I will click on next also I will click the checkbox mm -hmm. so you can see over here the EJB module folder is available okay. so under this EJB module our packages will be there and within the packages those particular beans will be created like they will be java files so right click on this folder click on new and then go to session bin because we are creating project with session bin so here we have to give a package name so let it be like uh, ABCD and we have to give also a class name that will be addition and uh, E will be capital in caps right because that's the natural convention we used to follow right? the first letter should be in gaps and the remote will be checked so that we can access it from remote client because the two projects are different right one uh, particular project is having this session bean and another will be our client so here i'll click on next this is the most important part like you have to give the map name yeah means using which uh, that particular session bean will be called so this map name uh, let me give it a name like uh, do find at you can give whatever name you want okay but just remember this map name because you need to look up for the session bean using this name only and click on finish So I don't need these things. So that's not a simple B project. So I will just remove this. And uh, what I will do, I will write a simple addition uh, function. Like it will be public int add, and it will have int a and b. So what it will do? It will take number input and it will return you the sum of those two numbers okay now as we know that we have something called that addition remote so what we need to do is we need to paste this uh, we need to define it because what we will do we will be not directly accessing this uh, addition dot java instead what we will do we will use this addition dot remote okay uh, class we will uh, look up for this class and through this we will access this function particular like this add function because it is only defined over here but uh, the entire body is not there so the body is here so this is a level of abstraction as you can say Okay, so we have the two files. It looks good. Now, what we have to do is we have to uh, click on this project and we need to export it as a jar file. So we click here. And for my convenience, uh, I will export it in the desktop. Okay because I'm already having the same name so 
so that's why I'm checking on this overwrite files okay so after this uh, we need to just uh, create a client project like uh, I will be access you can access this uh, access this particular EJB using servlet also but as of now I will show using the application client okay so there will be only simple one Java file so it will be AGB client then next click on next so in this particular project like in this client project you can see we have one folder like app client module so and under this default package there is already one uh, file available like main.java so what we will do we will simply uh, write the code over here only okay so this is the main function and what we need to do initially we need to import the file like uh, the jar files so external jar file we need is this and I need to import over here have to look for that class fish yes the class fish server is here and within class fish there will be a lib directory within the lib this app server rt.java and java double e we need to import this so finally in this client project what you need to do you need to add external jar files one the one which you have exported from this client uh, this java bean project and the other two will be from the server so you can just apply and close okay now we will uh, try to write the code to execute that particular java bean function right so I will set a context and let it be CDX and it will be a new the new initial context contact so it's showing some error like uh, some files uh, some import we need to do just wait a second just click over here click on this java naming and for this initial context also just click for a second and import this initial context save this now you need to call that uh, remote that method right uh, so let this EJB client uh, what was the method with addition remote so it will be addition it will be addition remote remote equal to addition remote ctx dot lookup and here you have to give uh, for that mapped name so remember in the citation file you have just given a uh, map name you need to copy this and you need to paste it over here okay and see there is some error because uh, you have not imported this addition dot remote because the package is there already right you have added using that uh, external jar file process that libraries you have added so here it is not finding oh sorry 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 it should be under this and uh, basically it need to be under this uh, try catch so i will click on here okay so this I'll just
just modify the code and then I will put this code inside this try catch block and then I will try to do the like in the console I will print I will pass two numbers and it will do the addition so here I have to print like system dot out dot print Alan. So what we need to do, we will be accessing that uh, add method, right? That is inside this addition remote class. So we need to add remote dot. See, it is showing the particular function add, and it takes two argument. And uh, I will give a name 10. Okay. Now, when everything is done, I'm just checking this thing. Comments are not in there. Okay. So now, when everything is done, so let's execute and see. So basically, what it should do if we execute this particular main dot Java, it should give me the sum of these two numbers, like five and ten, right? So first, I need to run this EJB. 11 because this is having the EJB module okay. the searching bin so it should run as run on server so next finish so. so here we need to wait for few seconds and it's uh, started already so let me check okay Then after running this, we need to run this main dot Java. So run as Java application. Just wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, the output is 15. So we can say that our program is working properly. And this is the most basic and simple program with session B. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.